is representing the Chicago Bears, and we got Magic D250 on the right representing the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, so these two, uh, I don't know if they're on a call or not, but uh, if you guys want to, basically, whenever you're ready, if you want to take off, feel free. If not, I will let you know when to start, but just either way, let me know. Um, whoa, let me actually not click on random people. I almost banned somebody on accident. That would have sucked. <laughs> that would have totally sucked. Anyways, thankfully, I didn't get anybody. Yeah, go Bears! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they're probably in a call together. Anyways, let me get the link going for you here. Uh, it should be on race four. Boom. There you go. So that'll get you into both of their channels there. If you go to that catguard.net split. Yeah, team Gambit, Team Magic. Yeah, it's going to be really split down the middle on this one. Yeah, I'm going on random banning sprees again. Woo! <laughs> And there they go, they're off and running at exactly the same time, too. So Magic's going to say no thanks to that Envy fight. Full Metal Gambit on the left-hand side, however, pulls out the All Stats Up Halo as his first item. So very nice find. And again, we're off and racing. These are two racers from last year, and you guys may notice a very, very noticeable quality increase for both of them. Uh, yeah. Gambit no longer casts a 240p, so we'll never get a question like, what the hell is he running on, man? A fucking, like, ancient laptop or something? Yes, he was. Uh, so now he's not. Ooh, very nice. Magic getting the miter. We're off to overpowered starts here, apparently. So the miter is 50% chance that red hearts spawn as those blue hearts that you just saw Magic get. He's trying to grab that with his, uh, like, for the life of him. There we go. So he'll bomb back out of this room into his item room. Yeah, what are you running on a potato? <laughs> Uh, the Haku uh, won the uh, the last race, so the uh, Jacksonville team won it. Or the Jacksonville rep, I should say, won it. So, on to his first boss fight, Full Metal Gambit, uh, dealing with... Uh, oh, man, I can't think of names of, of things anymore. Wow, my brain is shot, guys. <laughs> I'm in trouble. My brain is shot. That's Gemini. I can't think of freaking names. Wow, I'm terrible. Anyways, um, again, apologies. I'm a little flustered by doing a ton of races. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, so I think, uh, well, we can't really do it for week two, but starting in week three for the racers that are here, uh, try to put a two-hour window in between races if you can. Because obviously this is going to happen more often, and if stuff like Friday and Saturday gets pushed back that far, I'm going to be up for 29 straight hours. So we're, we're going to have to put a lot more time in between races while we're doing this. <laughs> Let me get the schedule linked up for you. It's actually uh, only uh, mods and subs can actually use this, and... Second link's going to have a legitimate link for you, uh, or the uh, legitimate one. And my microphone is a Samson CO1U. There you go. Spazbot's got it for you. Yeah, all to hours forever. We're basically going to have a 24-hour marathon, I think, next Friday and Saturday of me calling races, which means my voice is going to be gone, guys. Like, gone. So we'll see how this works out. No problem at all. No problem. And for those that are wondering, that boiler.org link, uh, no, it will not sell you hot water heaters or uh, anything of that nature, but it is actually the uh, the website for the Racing League. Uh, you got everything from standings to links to past videos of all the races, usually the night after. I got it updated pretty well. I got it. Let me rephrase that. Chris got it updated pretty quick. I just helped him out by giving him links. Uh, but either way, we got it updated quick last night. Uh, once I learn how to do it, I, I promise to at least attempt to do it the same night that I can. Um, but either way, uh, that, that website will have every bit of information you can need. Everything from the rules to everything else. By the way, Magic, if you can hear me, your mouse is on the screen. I just happened to notice that in the lower right-hand corner. Everybody's going to see that now. Haku won the Haku match, believe it or not. Well, believe it or not. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Everybody can win. That, that just, that was wrong. But beside the point, yeah, Haku won it. Haku won it in a, uh, a game three, for that matter. And it was, whew, that was a close close ending by the way that was ridiculously close like we've had two real nail biters already this year and we're only in day two yeah dep mouse <laughs> no it was insanely close like boss and haku were right neck and neck like i thought boss had it for a while and then all of a sudden here comes like boom haku's way out in the lead like uh oh next thing you know here comes boss finding his boss fight and like oh crap this is gonna get really close again so, a double deal from, oh my god, for Magic, and it is stabby time for the Bengals. Uh-oh. And he's going to take the dead cat. Wow, Magic playing some serious risk right now. Woo-hoo, okay. 
Interesting. Yeah, the Wolf uh, race is up next. We're way behind at this point, though, so Wolves race should start in seven minutes, but, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of time before that. <laughs> the last race went a little bit over. Yeah, it is. Stabby, 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 stabby. Time. And remote detonator for uh, Full Metal Gambit. Picking it up gives you five bombs, so even if you don't take it with you, at least pick it up. You get some free bombs out of it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Shit happens. That's what happens when you line up races too soon to each other. Like, I didn't even think about being like, we should put a two-hour window in there. I should have told you that and never did. So that's on me. <laughs> yeah, but that's $64. <laughs> $64 heater saved my damn life. you damn right it will. So there's a split to get into both Full Metal Gambit and Magic D250's rooms, by the way. So you'll see both chats, both videos. Be sure to mute one if you want to listen to them. Uh, but they are on, are on a call together. Boy, I can talk. Yeah, Dead Cat might be about to bite Magic Square in the ass, and there is one death. So, again, the Dead Cat gives you nine lives, so Magic has eight lives left, but as you can see, you respawn with one heart every time. So it is kind of a pain in the butt. If you die one time in a real bad area, oh, did you just hose yourself? I point at Wolf. For those that haven't seen it, somebody link up that highlight of Wolf diving, dying nine times in nine seconds. Because I'm not kidding either. It was nine deaths in nine seconds. So somebody link that up for me if you would, because it's hysterical to see. It's terrible. You want to cry for him, but it's hysterical at the same point. Yeah, and Wolf finds ways to get trolled by this game like nobody else. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> Wolf has got some bad luck with the game trolling him. Oh, it was so cruel. Yep, there you go. <laughs> There's links for you. For those that haven't seen that one, yeah, it's it's nutty. <laughs> What's up, Alkazen? How you doing? All right, Book of Shadows again, showing up. So Full Metal Gambit's going to replace his D6 with that, no question there. So by the way, already on Caves 2, by the way, we're rocking through this. Oh no, death number two for Magic got cornered by a terrible enemy there. I hate those rooms. I Well, I hate those enemies. I don't care what room they're in, I hate those enemies. What's up, Raylikes? How you doing? All right, so already back down to that half a heart. Magic's really got to risk it here. So seven lives left for Magic. So technically speaking, seven hearts, which if you look at Gambit's side, he's got seven hearts, but doesn't have to reset the room if he dies in it after one full heart of damage. Yeah, oh, that video. Yeah, see, there's Wolf. <laughs> he knows. He knows what's up. <laughs> dude, that was painful, dude. Like, I was crying for you, but also laughing at this. You know what I mean? Like, it sounds evil, but I think you know what I mean. Like, it's, you just can't help but be like, oh, yeah, God, that's Binding of Isaac for you. But at the same point, you're like, oh, God, poor wolf. Are you kidding? <laughs> yep, sure is. Oh, uh, AI. Give me one sec. Oh, no, magic again down. So he's down to six lives. So keep in mind, he is playing as a cat, technically, and he does have the dead cat in nine lives. So hmm. I just thought of the irony involved with this. Don't you think? <laughs> But there's links for you. Uh, Boiler.org has got like all the information on the actual league itself. It does have the schedule, but doesn't have times on it. Uh, so you'll see everything, and it's not fully operational yet, by the way. I should point that out, guys. There's a few things that are not completely working yet. It will be. Just not yet. Uh, let's see. Magic can find... Ooh, Mom's eye, so tears up for him. So every now and then he'll fire a tear out of the back of his eye, because moms have eyes in the back of their head, after all. And he'll also actually charge his... Uh, the thro Oh, man. Down to four lives now as Magic dies again. Uh-oh. This is seriously biting him in the butt right now, guys. Especially because he got a Catacombs XL. Or a Caves XL, I should say. It's really been biting him in the butt on this floor. So hopefully he gets a health up somewhere in here. Because that is exactly what he's looking for. Yeah, best nine seconds ever. <laughs> yeah, so how about them room layouts? This is pretty evil on Magic's side, quite honestly. Like, that's legitimately evil on this map. Oh no, down to three. What mic am I using? Let me get the link for you. Well, I should really link this up at some point in the, the Spazbot, but it's the Samson CO1U that the Spazbot just sold you. I really gotta put a link on that. It would make so much more sense. That way people would just be like, oh, there it is. It's on Amazon. Okay. It's it's 80 bucks though. It's a USB microphone. Hook it up and it works beautifully. I don't even have an EQ on this at all. It's just, this is straight up out of the box. Plug it in, put power to it, done. Don't get Liverpool, how about yourself? Oh, and there's those loading screen errors. 
Oh, and Gambit got through it very quickly. So yeah, there's Gambit's boss computer. So again, if you have Flash on a really good computer, it goes through those loading screens a lot faster. Uh, Gambit really upgraded his computer recently too. Like he's got a beast rig. So yeah, that worked out pretty well for him. <laughs> No, you can't use the D6 for a second of invincibility. <laughs> yeah, you can re you can use the D6 to just waste the charge if you want to. He had no need for it, so. Yep, that knife ripping on through, mind you. Also, the fallen ripping on through. Ugh, magic at this point. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. I hate watching runs on one heart, which means he's not going to get health up on this boss fight either, now that I think about it. Damn, Magic's getting no luck with his health. <laughs> oh, gets Brimstone, though. Interesting. So we were going over this last night. Wow. And Quad Shot for Gambit. Oh, my. All right, so these are getting to be really interesting runs. So apparently Brimstone, uh, if you pick that up while you have the knife, ups your damage on the knife, and it's showing, actually. So it definitely looks like it did. Uh, Magic has no key to get into that item room yet, though, so he'll be back for this. Uh, again, Gambit has got an XL floor, so he has found his boss fights uh, in one of his item rooms. I'm almost going to say that he's going to be willing to take what he's got and move on to the next floor, so... Eh, don't quote me, but I'm betting that he goes on and kills Mom after this. <laughs> Shit just got real. <laughs> good night, Costas. Have yourself a good one. Yeah, that risky carry, though. Like, yeah, exactly. So here's the key for magic. Ooh, the virus. Yeah, that's not going to help you. Uh, so that is poison touch. If anything hits you, you're going to apply poison to it and give it a damage over time. Problem is, you have to take damage or be able to get hit to be able to apply that to an enemy. So, yeah. He's got that going against him. Uh, however, he has found his boss fight right away. And the Hierophant. Oh, he's going to be breathing a sigh of relief right there. Two soul hearts from a card. So nice. So nice. He needed that. And on the wings of Loco. Wait, what? <clears throat> so anyways, going right on into his fighter. Magic's also going to get little gish out of this as he's ripping on through this boss fight. Oh, where that devil deal? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, no. Gambit down. No. No, now Magic's not even going to look at that Devil Deal. And he's going to move right on along down to his uh, Necropolis, which is Necropolis 2 or Depths 2, depending on what you want to look at that with. Yeah, Gambo was in trouble on that one. No. So he's going to have to start all the way back from scratch here. We got Magic actually going after items here. Don't know. Well, I can kind of see why he went after that. I guess on the hopes that he got some sort of trinket, which he did, let alone that Soul Art. Also good. And it is going to take him too long to get through this, honestly, so you might as well. Yeah, Cutler sacked again. Damn, this offensive line is terrible. It's not necessarily that Magic's going to win. He's only got two lives left, and if he dies on this one, he's going to come back to life with just one red heart. So he's definitely not guaranteed a win yet. He's got a ridiculously powerful build. Uh, if he can keep just a little bit of health, he'll be good to go. So let's see, Gambit's going to start this run off of the Celtic Cross. Again, a 33% chance that if you get hit, you get a 5-second damage shield where you take no damage. Uh, let's see, Magic's going to take that Lucky Toe. So that's the uh, the real cheap inversion of the uh, the Luck Foot. Signing up for the league, we had uh, uh, open signups for it for a couple months uh, quite a while ago. I basically picked all the entries a month ago, and uh, we got about six months of this one. So hopefully by the time this league's done we'll at least know more about Rebirth and when it's coming out, and we'll kind of basically or, uh, season three off of that. Because I'd like to do that with Rebirth, but A, there's no guarantee it's going to be out in any, you know, span of time around when I want to do League 3. Uh, you know, maybe it won't be feasible somehow. I don't know. But we'll find out more as we get closer to Rebirth. That's kind of my plan at this point. Don't want to jump too far ahead of myself and be like, yeah, let's do Binding of Isaac Racing League Season 3, and then like, well, Rebirth just came out. Like, well, crap. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's up, Chrono? What's up, Bunch? How y'all doing? Yeah, that health up. Ah, oh, breathe easily. So I didn't mention it, but yeah, Magic now has two red hearts here. So yeah, ah, oh, breathe in that fresh air. Ooh, and has found his boss fight too. So again, is down to that one and a half heart. Again, though, if Magic dies and he has to respawn with that last life of his with the dead cat, he comes back with only one red heart, not the two that he has now, just one. 
Uh, the Eagles are represented by Slackaholicus. If you guys want to see who's representing any team, just hit up the uh, uh, the website here. Rebirth's the uh, the remake of this game because Flash sucks and they can't do any. They can't even update this game. That's how bad Flash is capped out. Uh, so basically, they're redoing it completely for also for consoles. All right, moving on down to the next floor. Magic picked up a little bit of range up, which uh, some people say is actually damage up on the the knife. I don't know that I believe it, but. I, eh, it could be. Yeah, that effing blue mom. I hate blue mom, seriously, so much. I did right up above, but here you go. It's Spazbot that's going to be doing the linking, by the way. Might be a little early for those, uh, Raffle. Might be just a little early, just because he doesn't race for another five hours still. More like that Dapper Capper. All right, Judas's Tongue for Full Metal Gambit would turn any Devil Deal item into only a one red heart cost. Uh, again, same thing. Well, if for whatever reason you were the Blue Baby, it'd be three soul hearts at that point. But same difference. Yep. See? There's a few. There's a few. <laughs> You're never too early or too late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you beat me to it, but yeah, or too early. <laughs> oh, Gambit getting chased by a troll bomb. Yeah, I bet he'd be happy with that. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. I'm really bad. <laughs> yep, we got three races remaining tonight. So the next one coming up will be uh, Wolf 21 versus Moscow. And after that, we got uh, Awesome It's Amy versus uh, Vendrith. And finishing up the night a little bit later on, we got Rum versus Tornus. Oh, and by the way, uh also forgot to mention for that race we'll have lethal frag co-commentating for it so that last race of the night uh i've got a little bit of a uh, i can kind of lean on lethal frag shoulder and go like dude bro call this for a minute i need to go like rest my voice and sleep Ooh, check that out so magic pulling fate of all things out of that and by the way you can't see it in the lower right hand corner because it doesn't actually tell you what it is uh but you get it one soul heart off of that so technically magic just found a way to get a little bit more health up kind of uh, but if he takes that Eternal Heart onto the next floor with him, he also gets one full Red Heart container out of it. So Magic's a pretty happy man right there. That is a really rare item. Oh, I guarantee there's some Musketeers here. Guarantee it. Especially because that race should be on as of six minutes ago, but we're way behind tonight because of the last race. So it's going to be a bit before the Wolf and Mosk race, guys. Uh, I know that that is what's scheduled for right now, obviously. But like I said, we are a little bit behind. So bear with us a little bit. Uh, we got a lot of racing ahead of us, though. I'm in the United States. If you've ever seen the movie Wayne's World, you know exactly where I live. And no, the donut shop does not exist. <laughs> the face that Haku did is actually a uh, Man vs. Game subscriber only emote. Yeah, Tornus is at 4 a.m. Eastern, and yes, uh, Frag is going to be co-commentating with me on that one. Correct. Correct on both. All right, so Magic moving on down. Like I said, if you took that half a white heart with him, that would turn into a full red heart container. And there you go. You can see that have having or having had happened. Ugh, say that ten times fast. <laughs> Your tongue's going to be in a freaking twist. Uh, anyways, more golden poop for uh, Full Metal Gambit. He's rich. Except that that's a counterfeit penny in there. Again, that'll add, uh, have a chance that when you pick up a coin, that'll add one penny to its total. Oh god, you're getting hailed there? Where do you live at, Raffle? Wow, that sucks. Uh, jumping ahead of yourself there slightly, uh, Ravager? Only slightly. Yep, Gambit's uh, pretty much right in the same area as me, and uh, B-Star isn't too far away either, I don't believe. Oh, run away, Gambit. All right, so here we go. Magic looking to get the uh, the first of a uh, best of three win out of the way. It's one of those freaking brimstone eyes, though. I hate when that happens. Nonetheless, gets his bomb back. Drop that right in the middle as soon as he can. Very nicely done. So again, he's going to rip through Mom's heart here. The knife just does insane damage to bosses, especially Mom's heart. So when this fight normally takes a couple minutes, this one is probably going to go pretty fast. And Magic's got more than enough health, in my opinion. So knowing what he's doing here. 
This will almost definitely be a win for Full Metal Gambit. Or for uh, Magic, I'm sorry. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm wishing for the Bears. I'm wishing, I'm wishing. It could still happen. It could still happen. <laughs> but just like that, Mom's heart's going to stay out the rest of the time. Down to two red hearts. Down to one hit left. Oh, man, Gambit, you, your freaking Magic got so close to that last hit. Woo! You kind of scared me there, bro. I got to admit, you scared me with that last one. You went right into a projectile, and I thought for sure that was going to be a, a time in time. Like, we were going to have to make a new rule that if you and Mom die at the same time, you're screwed. I thought we were going to have to make Magic D250-2 the rule. <laughs> Good lord, man. So anyways, Jesus. Give me a heart attack, why don't you, sir? Uh, anyways, these two are both going to reset really quick here. We'll get round two underway momentarily, but Magic's got himself a one to nothing lead. And uh, Full Metal Gambit's going to be looking to tie it up here. But give me one fast minute to uh, to run ads here, guys. And let them do all their resets and whatnot. I'll be right back with you. But be sure to check out Boiler.org that you see in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, that'll get you all the information on the league itself. So check that out in the meantime. And I will be right back with you in a minute. So we're back and we should be clear. It looks like Magic's still AFK for a second or two here. So you probably just got up to either go run to the bathroom or grab a quick smoke, like most people I'm sure do in between races. Uh, if I can find the right button. Haha, <laughs> found it. So like I said, Magic's AFK, as you can see. Uh, but Gambit is ready to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me try that again in English. Gambit is ready to go. Blah, blah, blah. I can speak real well tonight, guys. Uh, anyway, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This will take a second or two. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll be uh, up and running again here momentarily. But like I said, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the hell out of this, because I know I sure am. So Gambit's looking that uh, he's got to win this one, and the next one for that matter, to win the night. Uh, Magic just has to win one of the next two, and he's going to wind up taking this home. I know words. Ah. Flibbity flabbity floobity. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you won't get ads. They are regional and random. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for the hiccup and burp. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, uh, let's say that you live in an area where somebody figures, <clears throat> you know, like, okay, I, Australia, for example, they don't always get ads. Uh, there may be no companies in Australia that advertise with Twitch that month, so you may not get ads for a month. Uh, I've actually, I live just outside Chicago. I've had an entire month where I got no ads. So, it happens. As weird as it is, it does happen. It's just a matter of who's buying advertisements with Twitch at the time, and if it's just been used up for the month, uh, you know, all sorts of craziness, so. Yep, exactly. Like, Czech Republic, you're probably not going to get ads. Yep, exactly. Exactly what Zay said. How's up, Pigster? How you doing? We can get that for you, Conrad. Let me get the link for you. Ah, uh, whoops. Would help if I was typing in the right thing. Try that again. Uh, this will help get you the link. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the first link, boiler.org, will actually get you to pretty much all the information that you guys need. It'll let you know who's representing what team. Uh, it'll show you their schedules. So there's a couple things that aren't up and running like they should be yet, but we'll get there. Uh, either way, we just put the website up last night. There's stuff that isn't quite done yet already. Uh, either way, though, uh, you can see schedules. You can get links to the past uh, videos on demand. Once we get the uh, the results put in, we actually link to the video as well. So in case you miss the race, you can see it. 
Um, all sorts of craziness. So it's uh, we got a lot of awesome stuff on there, and that's all thanks to Chris Handel. He is busting his ass making this stuff. Like seriously, like I've seen the coding the man's doing. It's it's. Whew. <laughs> Thank God that ain't me. That's and of course at one point I'm gonna have to update it once I figure it all out. So that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, Chris is busting his hiney on this one. So seriously, let me link this up real quick. Anybody that's liking the artwork that you're seeing, and there will be another backdrop incoming as well. Uh, but beside the point, anybody liking all that artwork or anything on the website, hit up Chris Hannell. That dude is doing some work for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, bacon and cheese meat pie. I like the words here. I like the way this sounds. But it looks like Magic is back, and we are just about good to go. So anytime these guys are ready, they're going to kick off round two here. We got a best of three going, so Magic's looking to win this two to nothing. Uh, Full Metal Gambit, a.k.a. Dub Bears is uh, looking to even this up in one apiece and force a game three. <laughs> but first, he's going to reset because Gambit apparently doesn't like the bean as his first item. I don't blame him. Uh, so nonetheless, Gambit's going to reset. Magic off and run in here and a little bit ahead by a whopping one room. Well, being that it's a league and it's electronic sports, I don't know, do the math on that one. Just saying. Just saying on that one. So there's the Ankh again. So once again, if Magic dies, he'll actually come back to life as the Blue Baby. Ooh, D20. Interesting. So Magic is gonna pass on it. Wow, okay. Magic's actually gonna take his D6 with him. D20, unlike the D6. Uh, would actually just re-roll items such as coins, uh, treasure chests, uh, bombs, keys, hearts, things of that nature into other such things. Uh, so basically like coins could somehow turn into another coin, uh, things of that nature. Ooh, very nice. So the common cold for Gambit, so he gets poison added to all of his tiers, so nice finds here. This is going to be another interesting run, I think, guys. Uh, they can only use the D6 on the outlawed items. There's seven in this year's league. Uh, so, ooh, Magic just missed on that bomb. Uh, anyways, the there you go. There's a listing for you. The Bible, Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, The Shovel, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, and The Toothpicks are all basically things that you can re-roll. Uh, you cannot pick those items. You can pick up The Toothpicks if you want to, but I don't know why the hell anybody would. Uh, they don't actually do anything but make your tears red. So, basically, we put those in there as something that you can re-roll if you want to. Uh, but those are the only things that you can use a D6 on. Yeah, Common Cold is often a Devil Room item, that is correct. And let's see, Maggie's Faith, that'll be questioned as to what that is. Uh, Gambit picked up a trinket called Maggie's Faith that as he goes on to the next floor is actually going to give him an Eternal Heart. Or a uh, half an Eternal Heart, I should say. Uh, so basically, if he finds another one on the floor or gets through the entire floor and gets to keep it with him, then he's actually... Ooh, kind of surprised he didn't buy the battery. Uh, then uh, he's actually going to get a full Red Heart container at the, at the end of the floor when he moves on to the next one. Yeah, Ipecac is basically infinite bombs that also have poison effect on him. But you could just basically bomb through doors whenever you wanted to. How's the schedule today? Uh, busy. <laughs> Posting the racing uh, file for public uses. Uh, no, it won't. It's basically just a uh, Platinum God save file. That's all it is. It's got everything unlocked on it. How's up, Anti Solar? How you doing? And good to see you, Fury. How you doing? <laughs> Joker! <laughs> do, do you need a hug, Joker? Do you need a hug? We can give you the hug. I, I can hug you right now. You want a hug, don't you? Let's all hug Joker. Aw, poor Joker. How are your kings doing, bro? <laughs> I can't talk shit. Like, the Hawks, like, basically pulled one out of their butt in the last round. I don't know how the hell we won today, so whatever. <laughs> More power to us. Stop touching me, God! <laughs> What's up, the crazy duck? Doing good tonight about yourself. That's why I love you guys. Even though we talk crap about sports, we all know it's in good nature. I mean, like, I, as much as I am a Blackhawks fan, I, if we lose, oh God, no, it's not the end of the world. It's just, ah, dang it, we lost. And we move on. You know what I mean? But, like, we, we all give each other crap because he knows full well that I, I know full well Joker's a Kings fan and that I'm a Blackhawks fan, so things like this will happen. All right, so Gambit getting a little bit more health up. He's going to take that Eternal Heart from Maggie's Faith onto the next floor, and you'll see another health up for him, let alone that he's going to get another half an Eternal Heart for moving on. So Maggie's Faith kind of can come in very handy for you. Now he's going to have to hope for some Devil Deals, because with all this health, he can buy some really nice stuff if he can find them. 
And speaking of devil deals, he's got a chance because here's Gambit's boss fight right off the bat. Yeah, go blue j yeah, you know what, never mind. <laughs> I have no idea how the timer's doing on this race. I don't keep a timer on it. Yeah, it is, Slack. Yes, it is. And Gambit's putting it to full use, man. When we get a CV commentating NHL, uh, who knows, maybe when Pat Foley retires. Fox win! See, I can do it. I can totally do this, guys. Call me. <laughs> Fox win! Fox win! That's all you have to do, right? Because it's all we do is win. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, fan? How you doing? Who's repping the Dallas Cowboys? That would be Moskill. So he'll be coming up in the next race, facing off against Wolf 21. And if NHL draft cast, I wouldn't know anything. <laughs> I would not know anything. Replace Barry Melrose. Hey, I like Barry Melrose. Not as a coach, but as a uh, commentator on ESPN. I enjoy him, so I wouldn't go there. All right, so, ooh, this is nasty. Interesting. So, Magic getting himself an XL floor. Actually has keys, though, so he'll be able to get into the side of room right off the bat. And is going to, ooh, wind up with Mr. Mega. So, his bombs are going to be increased damage, and now it basically looks like he's got it. I don't have a nervous habit. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, if you guys look on the Boiler website itself, that'll actually let you know who's representing every single team. Oh no, lag ball on Magic's side. Uh oh, okay, there we go. Just took a second or two to pop through. Let me uh, refresh Magic's real quick here, because he's going to be behind by a few seconds. Here we go. Like I said, he was already through another room, case in point. That's why updating every now and then helps out. Thank God I'm turbo and I don't get ads. Boy, did that sound bad. <laughs> that probably to the outside ear sounded like, and I don't get ads. It, never mind. We're just leaving that one where it is. You get the idea. Somebody will laugh at it anyway. So enjoy that one. Misquote it all you want. <laughs> Because we're not going to win in L.A. Dude, we've won in Detroit. Enough said. I ain't worried about L.A. If we can win in Detroit, I'm not worried about L.A. <laughs> no word. <laughs> and moving on. Mic drop. <laughs> All right, so Gambit finding his boss again. He's really hoping for a devil deal here at some point because he has got to spend some of these hearts. He does not need this much health. <laughs> I guarantee he's just looking for something like a knife, brimstone, something good in that devil deal. Or a devil deal, period. Then again, this is Gambit we're talking about. This is the man who last year in the, uh, the league decided to, well, not decided to, but got to reroll three Bibles. Two of those turned into Sacred Hearts. Do we need to say more than that? All right, so Magic's still working his way around looking for anything else on this floor. Which is a really odd setup on this floor so far. Eh, Tammy's head. It's not the D6, that's for sure. Dragonfly, how you doing? Guys, you can find out who's representing every single team in the league by going to the webpage. And that's where I'm going to tell you to go because I'm not going to answer that anymore. I'm just going to push you towards the webpage where all the information you could possibly need is. Actually, if you didn't know, you can hurt the enemies with your body, so... Yeah. Just gonna point that one out to you. Nice try backseat gaming, gaming guys that have a grand total of over 25,000 hours playing this game. Just gonna point out, backseating 25,000 hours worth of gameplay? Probably not gonna win you much. Alright, so let's see here. Ah, uh, wow. That's a hell of a floor for Magic, so wow, his boss fights are going to be all the way down there. Whew! That's a hell of a floor! At least he knows he's going to pass by his other item room, so I guess there's a win to that in some way, shape, or form, but wow, Magic's got a nasty XL floor. And of course, he went the wrong way the first time, but 
Jeez. That's brutal. Not just me, I said. Between everybody in the league. We got 32 racers and myself. There's at least six of us over 1,000 hours. At least. And Cobalt said almost 2,000. So... <laughs> is it the crown that makes you think that out of curiosity? <laughs> it's the crown, isn't it, Maverick? It's totally the crown. Yeah, Dragonfly missed the Spasception. Yeah. We're going to have to highlight out Spasception at some point, I think. <laughs> oh, what does Lethal Frag have in hours? We can ask him later tonight. He's actually going to go commentate with me on the uh, 4 a.m. Eastern race. Uh, Magic apparently has to pause for something. I'm assuming that he has to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was going to say either that or he's checking all of his stats. One of the two. <laughs> oh, holy water for Gambit. He's actually going to take it. That's kind of surprising. Uh, so now you see if... Uh, you will see if Full Metal Gambit gets hit. Here's proof that you can actually injure enemies with your body. So if you walk into somebody, for example, like right here, I'm kind of surprised he didn't. I would have taken the damage just to drop it down. Uh, it'll leave a uh, pool of... Whoa! Pestilence, Jesus. Uh, it'll leave a uh, pool of holy water in a uh, circle on the ground that basically if any enemy goes through, it'll actually damage him. Yeah, recorded hours. See, same thing with me. Mine on my Steam account says I've got like 540. Problem is, it didn't count about 600, so I'm somewhere over a thousand. I just say add a thousand just to kind of make it easier, but I'm definitely over a thousand, let alone if you count commentating this, I'm well over a thousand, so. All right, a little bit of range up there on Magic's side. He'll take it, and he's not so happy with it, but he'll take it nonetheless. Ooh, Carrion Queen. I've seen very few of these, but he's going to take homing shots for this. Yeah, see, this is not one of the fights where I'd want to have homing shots. This never works out well for me. Yeah, the issue with, um, with, uh, I can't think of the name now, good lord, with, uh, Holy Water is that if you have it, and until you get hit in a room, let's say that you have Robo Baby following you, uh, if you have, if you pick up Holy Water at that point, it's gonna, for whatever room you have, until you get hit, if you've got that Holy Water behind you, no matter who it is that your follower is, it turns into Brother Bobby, which is, like, the worst damaging follower that you can have. Uh, if you get hit in the room, it resets it and puts it back to whatever it's supposed to be. So it'll go right back into Robo Baby. But, eh, it's kind of crappy. Then again, Gambit doesn't have anybody following him, so there you go. Uh, let's see, Super Bandage from Magic D250 gets a lot of health up. Gets one uh, Red Heart and two Soul Hearts out of that, I believe. Uh, not from what I've seen. It's switched any single follower I've had. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's, it's all of them, Treddy. Pretty sure it is. It should just be evil ones. That would make sense. But... I think it's all of them, sadly. Yeah, once again. Sorry, I'm drinking a lot of water and stuff to kind of keep my voice hydrated. Anyways, once again, Mantic's got a really, really brutal looking XL floor. So he's got two floors jammed together into one. Although the first time he gambled here, he actually got a pretty fly orbital. So that's working out well for him. <laughs> Yeah, at least he's making use of this portable slot machine. So he's gambling away all of his money. Obviously, it makes sense. Portable slot machine, right? Where am I playing? I'm not. I just do the commentary on this. Ooh, but what type, Ducat? What type of Pop-Tarts? Therein lies the question. Keeping the voice hydrated. Keeping the voice hydrated. <laughs> Drink some water over your boss. Drink some water. <laughs> Ah, I see what you did there. Makes sense. <laughs> I get it. I totally get it. Yeah, damn right, White. <laughs> damn right, dude. Brown sugar, Pop-Tarts. Oh my god, so good. Oh, I know. Believe me, Mr. TJ, I'm an audio engineer. If you don't think I know the tricks about how to make uh, singers actually get their voices to last more than five minutes, oh yeah. Because <laughs> believe me, singers don't know how to make their voices last more than five minutes. There's a reason I can talk for 24 to, well, in one case, 37 straight hours and not have my voice give out on me. I know what I'm doing. I've got honey in the fridge. <laughs> and yes, I put my honey in a fridge. Deal with it. I like cold honey. 
People think I'm weird for that. So am I am I weird, guys? Am I weird for that? Is that an odd thing? And yes, they are both on XL floors right now, so they both have Depths XL going on. Okay, I am weird. Awesome. Okay, good to know. Apparently I'm weird. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, honey and tea is freaking phenomenal. Like, that will basically replenish your voice like something amazing style. Like, honey and any sort of, like, lemon for that matter in anything kind of helps you out a lot. Not in lemonade. Don't misunderstand me. Lemonade's a bad idea for it. And what do I drink all the time, guys? Yeah, lemonade. Uh, beside the point, though. But, yeah, lemon will actually help you quite a bit, too. But, yeah, I leave honey and I like cold honey. Deal with it. No, oh, Gambit, stop dying, man. You're making my bears look weird. Damn it. You're not the offensive line of the bears, sir. <laughs> oh my god. My god, I didn't even know that was a friggin' emote. <laughs> yeah, that unicorn art. Wow, speaking of... Uh, yeah, Magic's not too happy with this map anymore. Speaking of that, uh, so he is not going to pick up the Holy Water. Again, he's got little Steven following him. Uh, Magic does not want that Holy Water, because until he gets hit in a room, that would turn little Steven into Brother Bobby. And definitely not as good, in my opinion. So I can see why Magic did not grab it. If anybody's wondering why, it's like, well, why wouldn't you just take it's an item? Uh, it would actually hinder him more than it would help him. What's up, Dave? How you doing? Yeah, right, Valen. <laughs> fries on your hamburgers ain't weird. It's all going to the same place, and you're eating fries alongside your hamburgers anyway. So why would that be odd? That's that's nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. <laughs> Magic bastard. <laughs> Can they see each other's progress? Yep, and they're actually talking to each other on Skype too, so they know full well what what well, let me try that again. They know full well where the other one is at. That's not odd, that's efficient. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, I like that. I like that description. That's not odd. That's efficient. Wow. Are you serious? In a curse room? The holy grail in a curse room. What? Okay, that's odd. So double flying for Full Metal Gambit, just in case you couldn't already. Wow. That's... I don't think I've ever seen that happen, guys. See something new in this game every day. Lo and behold, that's how random this game is. That's really strange. Exactly, Clingy. Like, it's efficiency. Exactly. It's efficiency. Yeah, new Gambit rule. <laughs> uh, just, just, just pick up all the things. Yeah, Gambit died a second time on this one. Well, a second time throughout the span of the races, I should say. Not on this race itself. Yes, let's honk our horn at the people five feet away from you, because... Blagics! Yeah. I like giving people, ch you know, bad crap for that. <laughs> yeah, it's because God was on the floor. God likes this floor. <laughs> All right, so infestation for Full Metal Gambit. That means that if he gets hit, he would actually spawn some uh, uh, friends till the end flies to attack enemies in the room. Yeah, honk honk, coming through. <laughs> beep beep, motherfucker. <laughs> See, and the bad thing, my windows are closed, guys. Like, I don't know how my microphone suddenly got so incredibly sensitive, but apparently it hears everything now. So summer's gonna suck. We're gonna have the windows closed and the air conditioning blasting 90% of the time, apparently. And welcome back, Awaken. Ooh, Magic taking some cheap damage. Knew that he had a, uh, pretty much had to get through that room, though, so he just said screw it and just bombed through the door. Magic's got 32 bombs at this point. He's not too worried about using up bombs kind of willy-nilly. Yeah, no, Bweep Bweep would be too close to saying hi to Bweep twice. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. All right, magic clearing out that room. Now comes the fun part of probably working his way all the way back over to the left to get to the... Uh, this map is brutal on magic right now. 
This is a brutally ridiculous map. So my guess would be he's going all the way over to the side, though there you go. He's going to get over towards that secret room, I guess, as well, because, hey, why not? He's got the bombs. He might as well get into it. Right on, read and enjoy yourself. Ooh, compass. The external compass, for that matter, for full, for four full metal gambit. Wow, tongue twisters. Gambit's all proud now, like, ha, I make Crump strip on his own words again. Now, but uh, as you can see, it'll show, even though you can't see the actual layout of the map, it'll still show you on the, uh, the mini-map area where it is that all of your special rooms are. Oh, boy. Yeah, totally gonna go watch your stream. That seems like such a great idea with admins in here, you fucking idiot. <laughs> good job. Good, good job. Gee, guys, I bet you that's a great channel. <laughs> Uh, I like how the ban button apparently didn't work because he's still talking. <laughs> yeah, that's not working well. Awesome. Oh, good, because it totally did that ass backwards, too. Lovely. <laughs> how does that not ban? Yeah, no, it fucking did it ass backwards. So, like, for whatever reason, it moderated him, then it banned him, then it moderated him again, then it banned him again. Fun. Anyways, that's good times. <laughs> Chappy broke. <laughs> yeah, apparently he transcended all, all chat and time and space. <laughs> No, it's actually Otaku's, because I think I have his chat add on. Still actually active on here, because I didn't update it. <laughs> He's the chosen one. There can be only one. <laughs> no, Gambit's got plenty of health left. He isn't in that big a risk of dying right now. Plus, oh, I thought he was going to be close enough to actually get those bombs in the center of the room to uh, work against the enemies for him, but nope. So again, here's Monstro 2. You guys can see the little trick that everybody uses. Walk side to side on him. And just make him go in the same loop over and over and over again until you kill him. It takes a little bit of time either, or if you don't have much damage, but he doesn't hurt you. And he's not going to jump anywhere. I'm Neo. <laughs> no. Or his other favorite line. Whoa. <laughs> Except I put too much emphasis on that, so yeah. Yeah, I was chugging water and coughing like crazy style. Sorry, guys. Jeez. Gotta give me a second. I'm casting for 14 straight hours doing nothing but calling games. Like, give me five seconds every now and then. Is that cool? Can we make a deal there? Do I do I have to talk literally every second? Hold on. Let me just talk every single second so that you guys are all be happy. And then you're going to understand just how annoying this would actually get if I never actually shut up or breathed in at any point and just kept talking like I was a 16-year-old teenager on the phone. So hold on. Let me keep doing that for you because I guarantee that you guys aren't going to like this very much. Hold on. Let me do go. You get the point. <laughs> Give me five seconds every now and then, guys. <laughs> if I'm eating food or something like that, you don't need to hear me like... <laughs> Oh, I love it when people are like, oh, this dude is so annoying. Like, yeah, I unmuted after I muted for like five seconds. How about chill the fuck out, guys? I was making a point. And here's the funny part. Instead of actually putting your two cents in there, Frulock, how about A, go fuck yourself, and B, just leave my channel, you dumb fuck. It's that easy. It's really that easy. Wow. 
Wow, yeah, you can't click fucking anything in here. Wow, you're chat out. I'm fucking flat out broke this shit. <laughs> All right, reload time, because I can't click a goddamn thing now. <laughs> awesome, there we go. There we go. It just took a reload. I can click things again. You're fine for now, Otaka. Don't even, all you gotta do is reload if it happens. Yeah, I'm not getting butthurt. That's the funny part, guys. Like, if I was butthurt, I would have just been like, Ah, fuck this. Fuck you guys. I'm out. Like, here's the funny part, guys. Like, if I were really butthurt, I'm explaining things. The one that's butthurt is the one that gets all butthurt about the fact that I have to explain it to you. So... <laughs> Let's let's put out there who might actually be the butthurt one. The one that has to speak up and be like, Oh god, this guy gets butthurt so easily when all I had to do is explain that, like, you know, yeah, I, you know, I, I get five seconds to mute, right? No? Because you see how crazy chat went when I muted for five seconds? Yeah. So if you feel like that, why would you type that, Joka? Just gonna point that out there. Doesn't that seem completely contradictory? And I think you all need to shut the fuck up. All right, we're putting this into sub-only mode because obviously the kids are out, so guess what? Boom. Ah, oh, except I can't type for shit. <laughs> There you go. And now the idiot kids can't talk, so deal with it, guys. Amazing how that works. Now if you want to talk and be a fucking idiot, you actually have to pay me $5 a month. Enjoy that thought. <laughs> ah. So again, sorry, that's not going off for a while because obviously people can't handle themselves. So again, I'm going to mute for five seconds. Is that okay with everybody while I take a bite of food? Or do you just want to hear like... <laughs> Case in point, I'm going to mute for five seconds. I'll be right back. Ravager, I can make that happen. No kidding. <laughs> Anyways, obviously I'm good here. So, Magic working on uh, Womb 1 right now. Gambit's been flying. No pun intended. There was a lot of pun intended, let's be real honest. Uh, but Gambit's been flying through his floors here. His Ana Depths XL is working towards both of his item rooms and is really not that far from his boss fight. So, I wouldn't count Gambit out of this yet by any means. However, Magic just about to hit his boss fight here on the Womb. And is going to wind up with, ooh, Conquest. Oh, God. Not who you want to see right now. Thank you, anti Solar. You guys do not have to. That's not why I'm doing this, guys. <laughs> I'm not doing this to be like, hey, actually pay $5. I'm, no, not why I did that. It's just every now and then when people go stupid and it just basically goes like, oh, we can be stupid in here? That's stupid. Like, I put a stop to that real fast and it stays like that for a while until the stupid leaves, so... <laughs> But seriously, thank you very much, Anti Solar. You do not have to do that. And thank you. I, that's way above and beyond, so. Is unpurgeable a word? Hmm. Unpurgeable. Yeah, I, we'll go with that. If not, it's a conjunction. It's close enough for me. <laughs> it's absolutely close enough for me. So, again, for those wondering, yes, we'll go off later so that you guys can all talk again. That. On that note, let me get a few links out in here for you before the uh, troll bot comes back on. There's the boiler wings for you. Yeah, I'm a little shit guy. <laughs> Ravager. <laughs> I love that the bat or that the bottle actually say that it's doing it. Freaking amazing. Ah, it's beautiful. So, anyways, Magic uh, trying to avoid all these pillars of light here from Conquest. He's got relatively low damage, and Conquest is being a douche nozzle to him by just flying over and over. Wow, this is why I hate this fight so much. Actually, I hate those pillars of light the worst. I always get hit by those things. It almost never fails. <laughs> See? Awaken proved it. <laughs> 
All right, so Magic's got just under 50% health left. Gambit's working on over to his boss fights here, so... Ooh, wow. Um, wow. What did you just do, Magic? Oh my god. <laughs> there were like 40 of them. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh my god. Um, wow, that's cool. I've never seen that take place, but even Magic's like, dude, what did I just do? <laughs> That is freaking cool. I didn't know that was possible, but apparently if you use the game kid while uh, while he's in the wall, wow, that was really cool. <laughs> oh man. All right, so like I said, you see something new in this game every day. For those that hadn't seen that before, wow, what just happened there? <laughs> oh my God, that was too cool. <laughs> All right, so like I said, seeing something new today, seeing something new tomorrow, I'm sure. Come on back tomorrow, guys. We'll find some new way to floor you with something that, like, you can do that in this game. We'll find a way. Trust me. <laughs> we will find a way. <laughs> Holy crap, Old Spice, you do not have to do... Seriously, guys, you do not have to do this. That It will be off in, like, 20 minutes. Like, just let it, let all of it chill down. It's like going to the timeout corner, basically. Like, it'll be off in 20 minutes, so you guys do not have to be subscribing, especially if you're just being like, hey, dude, I'm sorry that that crap happened. You guys do not have to be doing this. It's the internet. Like, this is just how you handle it. You just, you know, you put people in timeout for a minute or two, and that's what you do. So, I'm sorry that it has to happen to a lot of really cool people, too. Don't misunderstand me, but I'm going to shut up about this whole process. Either way, thank you very much. You do not have to be doing this. Yeah, and as I'm explaining it, good lord, seriously. <laughs> no, like, seriously, like, thank you guys. I you just, proto, I, again, prototype, just, yeah, you guys do not have to be doing this stuff. Like, it'll be off in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> but seriously, thank you, thank you very much. Well, I don't like to accept that. That's called, like, the guilt feeling of, or, like, you know, like, Catholic guilt without being Catholic, basically. All right, so Magic porting on into his uh, secret room here. He is on the womb too, by the way, so he does have a pretty decent lead built up on Gambit. But again, do not count Gambit out. If he winds up with the next L floor here, it's on, guys. So again, do not count Gambit out in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to go with Lucky because I'm definitely not brilliant, Jeebus. I Definitely not the first one, so I'm going to go with Lucky. Then again, I'm not very lucky either, so... Uh, Bro Lucky? We'll go with that. We'll go with Bro Lucky. How about that? We all know I just sub Viridia and the cat. <laughs> you know, misquoted, that could actually mean other things too. Just saying. <laughs> hey, you rolled into me, Nominatus. That's all I'm saying. You rolled into me, man. At that point, it's fair game. <laughs> I'm asleep. That's subconscious. I just That's fair game. You did that. I'm just saying. If you weren't so damn sexy, I wouldn't have done it, you know? I'm just saying. I mean, you know. It's your fault. <laughs> Alright, so Gambit's living on the edge yet again with only half a heart left. It wouldn't matter if he had one full heart. Everything in the womb hits you for one full heart of damage. So, woo, that dodging. Oh, man. Gambit, thank God you have speed, man. Woo, I've tried to pull that dodge off before, and it just does not work. <laughs> Funny part is people think Anominatus is joking. Apparently, no, he's not. <laughs> What's up, Kujo? How you doing, dude? All right, so finding his boss fight real quickly. This, uh, well, mind you, at this point, I don't know what Magic's exactly doing here. What are you? Oh, he's getting his charge. I see what he's doing. He needed one more room for his charge. I just now noticed the space use item. Herpeter, I thought the Gambit had that for some stupid reason. Either way, oh god, Gambit versus the Bloat on half a heart. Oh, good luck, sir. Magic, on the other hand, will be working his way back on over and is going to have his mom's heart fight here in two seconds or so. So he'll be walking in, looking to finish this off on a two to nothing sweep. Trying to take my bears out. I see how it is. No, seriously, good luck, Magic. He's got very little to go here, so this shouldn't be too much of an issue for him. As long as he up and he's got enough speed where he can get around this before the eyeballs shoot him, he's good to go, guys. So Magic should be putting an end to this boss fight pretty quick. Gambit's got to catch up real fast at this point. But he's got to play it real safe because he has half a heart and about half of the heart or half of the damage left to do on the bloat. 
Yeah, bloat. Better use kamikaze. <laughs> mm. There's the guarantee right there, because, yeah, the bloat. This is why I don't like that fight. Gamba was trying to push that bomb over to the bloat, and lo and behold, that, that brimstone, man. That brimstone. All you gotta say is, that brimstone. So that was painful. Yeah, that's why I don't like that fight, guys. That's exactly why right there. But on that note, Magic B250 over on the right-hand side, your Cincinnati Bengals representative has just got this one, uh, Magic. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's just got this one other enemy to kill, which apparently he just leaned back and went, yeah, I won and didn't see it, but oops. Yeah, hey, let's give him three wins. Totally, you won three to nothing, because that's feasible. Anyway, <laughs> smooth, Grumps, smooth. Anyway, so like I said, Magic D250, your winner of this race. So again, congratulations, sir. Very nicely done there, Gambit, as well. So don't feel bad. Bears lose a lot, too, so <laughs> don't worry.